Hi everybody, Rad Mom here. I'm actually just jumping in with a bit of an impromptu thing because the lefties and the righties are both being ridiculous and I just can't help myself. But Kyle Kulinski is the one who set me off, so I'm going to let him introduce it for us. All right, guys. So uh, Jordan Peterson sat down with Elon Musk. <laughs> now there's a match made in hell, huh? You know, I haven't been able to sit through the whole thing yet. I want to do it. That makes you a masochist, Kyle. I'm so sorry. Uh, I'm probably going to do it. But, you know, that's one of those things you got to mentally prepare for because, you know, it's going to be however long the interview is the entire time. I'm going to be gritting my teeth and face palming and wincing and... So I will do it. You have my word. Uh, perhaps I'll give you another segment or two on it, although I'm not going to promise on that front. Oh, oh, I, I kind of hope he does. I almost can't wait. But here's uh, a part of the interview that went viral online. Where else exactly, pray tell, do things go viral, Kyle? So uh, they're going to talk here about Elon Musk. He has, a, he has a trans kid. And man, he said this is some vile shit that he said here. So let's listen, and then I'm going to break it down for you. Here we go. Wow, wow, wow. Elon Musk talking vile shit. He has said some nasty, awful, misogynist, weird, crazy shit. Yeah. Get ready. You ready? Are you ready? Are you? It happened to one of my, my older boys, um, uh, where I was, um, I was essentially tricked into uh, signing documents uh, for one of my older boys, Xavier, uh, this is before I had really any understanding of what was going on, and we had COVID going on, and so uh, there was a lot of confusion. Um, and um, you know, I was told, oh, he, you know, Xavier might commit suicide if, if he. That was a that was a lie right from the outset. Incredibly evil. Yeah, as we've talked about many times on the channel, I believe that that's usually some manipulative bullshit that is propagated by some pretty high authority figures. So that's scary. Um, so far, I'm actually sympathizing with Elon. Which I think that's a first for me. And I agree with you that the people that have been promoting this should go to prison. That's so I was, I was tricked into doing this. Um, and uh, you know, it wasn't explained to me that puberty blockers are actually just sterilization drugs. Yeah, because if you never go through puberty, then you can never become fertile. That is how that works. Yeah. Um, and the overwhelming majority of young people who got on puberty lockers later go on to cross sex hormones, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, under the affirming care model. And so I lost my son essentially. Uh, so you know they uh, they call it dead naming for a reason. Yeah, I, I went and looked. I went and did just the slightest little bit of research about this, and I found an article from something called Quartz that has the you know intellectual honesty to admit that he's speaking figuratively here. He's being kind of facetious and kind of mean. You know, because, yeah, the trans activists are the ones who refer to this as dead naming. All right. I'm, so the, the reason it's called dead naming is because uh, your son is dead. So my son Xavier is dead. He's killed by the woke mind virus. Oh, I'm sorry oh. to hear that. Elon Musk is being annoyingly glib here. Uh, he's being kind of a prick. I don't know what the fuck you expect about Elon Musk, but that doesn't make him wrong, unfortunately. Killed by the woke mind virus. Guys, here's the most important fact about this. And actually, ContraPoints made this point on Twitter, and I think she's spot on. Oh, 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 okay. ContraPoints is spot on. Is that right, Kyle? Way to tell on yourself there, buddy. It would be one thing to make this argument if um, Elon Musk's kid basically uh, transitioned and then said, wait, what have I done? I've made a mistake. I don't actually believe this. It was like social pressures or whatever that forced me in this direction. I thought it's what I wanted, but it's actually not what I wanted. And then Elon Musk's kid detransitions. No, we're talking about whether or not the kid was alive or not. Then if you want to make some stretch of an argument of like, oh my God, it, it was all cultural. It was all environmental. They were forced into it. They just went along with the flow. It was peer pressure. It was this, it was that. It was the woke mind virus. Then okay. Guys, Elon Musk's kid did not detransition. Elon Musk's kid is trans. Again, Kyle, why is that the simpler explanation? Why is the simpler explanation that his kid was just born in the wrong body? And so he's saying, basically, my kid is dead. My son is dead. And my son was taken from me by the woke mind virus. You're pretending as if he's speaking literally. Kyle, you do not have to go out of your way to make Elon Musk look like a weirdo. Look, if you're taking the position that he's taking, 
The implication in what he's saying is he just doesn't think anybody is trans. Correct. I don't think that either. I actually feel like I have a lot of pretty good reason to believe that. Aside from it being so incredibly illogical and just evil to insist that, yes, some kids are in the wrong body. Like, there's no indication that Elon Musk's kid wants to detransition or made a mistake. I want you to keep this in mind, how much he's saying about this kid, as if Kyle knows anything about this kid. Keep that in mind. Kyle's pretending he knows anything about this kid. So what he's saying is just the fact that somebody transitions is problematic, is not okay. Yes. The fact that anybody transitions is a denial of material reality on the part of them and everyone who helps them. So it's a denial of trans people just existing. Yes. Elon, do you think nobody's trans? I don't know what Elon thinks, but that's what I think. Do you think that just doesn't exist? It's totally made up? It's fake? Yes, I believe that no one is in the wrong body. Ever. I think that's ridiculous. So that is quite a fucking admission, bro. You're talking about your own kid here. Effectively throwing your own kid under the bus, saying, they got the woke mind virus, and... Or, your kid is genuinely trans, realize that about themselves, and it was true, hey... I'm fucking miserable, and I need to get out of the wrong body in order to proceed. Wow. If you think that your body is making you miserable just by its very existence, mm, I don't know. That sounds like mental illness. Right? I don't know why it's so hard for conservatives to grasp this concept. I don't know why it's so hard for liberals to grasp that not only conservatives have a problem with this crap. It's honestly not that difficult to grasp. Imagine you're born biologically one way, but in your mind, you feel for sure like you're the opposite. I don't need to imagine that, motherfucker. Well, why wouldn't you do something to address that, to make yourself feel better? Of course you should. That's the whole point. Gender dysphoria is that. Yeah, gender dysphoria is a mental illness. I was born this way, but I actually mentally I'm this way, and I'm struggling on a day-to-day -day basis to get by with my outward appearance not matching how I feel inside, right? It's not that difficult a concept to fucking grasp. No, it isn't, but it is not representative of any sort of external material reality, okay? Believing this sincerely about yourself does not make it true, Kyle. It's like, here, to try to uh, explain it to somebody like Jordan Peterson or Elon Musk, if I force them to wake up every morning and they have to dress like a woman. Ooh, I am not somebody like Jordan Peterson or Elon Musk, so this ought to be rich. I'm gonna put a wig on you, I'm gonna put some blush, I'm gonna put some lipstick on you, I'm gonna give you those fake eyelashes that come out, you're gonna throw some mascara on them hoes. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Come on, Kyle. Tell us more about what you think makes a woman. We're going to put fucking, uh, make your eyebrows perfect. We're going to get your eyebrows tweezed, make everything on point, right? Give you give you some nice big old fake titties. Wow, that's a high standard. Damn. Give, you, give yourself a dress. Give yourself a padded bottom to make it look like you got a donk, right? Walking around, fucking make you wear a thong. Walking around. And this is how you present to the world. But if you're not... A woman, if you're not trans, if you don't feel like the opposite, you're gonna be fucking mortified walking around like- I, I, I would be fucking mortified walking around like that. As a woman, I, I would be fucking mortified. Kyle, Kyle, what are you saying, Kyle? What the fuck are you trying to say, Kyle? You're telling on yourself again, Kyle. Like, fuck, this is not who I am. This is really fucking weird and bad. I don't like this. This is terrible. Yeah, and you know what I did about that? I stopped fucking doing any of that shit. It helped my gender dysphoria immensely. Yeah, you are right about that. Weird. So effectively, what Elon's saying is, I would like to force my biological son to stay a biological son, even if it makes them fucking miserable. You're right. Tough love involves forcing young people to accept reality, even if it makes them unhappy. Dare I say, that sounds almost like parenting. Not to say that Elon Musk is a great parent. I want to make that perfectly clear. I'm not actually taking Elon's side here, but, like, even a broken clock is right twice a day. But, Kyle, come on, man. It gives them anxiety and gives them severe depression. I like to force them to be like that. If accepting material reality gives you severe depression, that's called a mental illness and you need therapy. And by the way, the reports I've seen are, they're estranged. This kid wants nothing to do with, with Elon. Shocking. Shocking. One of Elon's kids is estranged from him? I'm just shocked. <laughs> And what does he do instead of like taking responsibility and accountability and saying, I accept you for who you are and I love you. It's no, you're dead to me and the woke mind virus took you. See, he's still not taking accountability. He's blaming external forces for something that might have been his own failure as a parent. Right. That I definitely do agree with. Uh, 
that doesn't mean that these external forces don't exist. So I, this is just being a shitty father. He's absolutely divulging himself of responsibility. Uh, but the thing he's blaming does exist. I see this as no different than somebody in the fucking like 1950s hearing that their kid is gay and then being like, I want nothing to fucking do with you. Idiot. How old are you? This was happening in the 1990s. You better start liking pussy because if you don't. Unnecessary vulgarity. Carl, are you a journalist or what? I want nothing to fucking do with you. How is that not just being a shitty father, being unaccepting? And also, as somebody pointed out on Twitter, I thought this was a brilliant point. You have to spare me. You're the guy who named your kid like XE Zordon 3879 or whatever the fuck it is. You named your kid some weird bullshit. And then your whole thing here is like, oh, I'm outraged and disgusted that my kid wants to change their name. That's not what he said. Again, you're mischaracterizing what Musk said, and you don't need to do that because he is divesting himself of any responsibility for the outcome of his parenting. Like, what? What? The fucking thing you named your kid was basically child abuse. Not this kid, though. This kid's name was Xander. <laughs> what are you talking about? Oh, my God. Let's see if there's anything else here. Yeah, and there's lots okay. of people in that situation now. Right. It's not pretty. And lots of demolished kids. Yes. Yeah, well, so, that's, a good, that's a good reason to be the final straw. All right, so let's... So I vowed to destroy the, the woke mind virus after that. <laughs> you arrogant asshole. Elon Musk is on a crusade to destroy the woke mind virus. Oh, please. And yeah, we're making some progress. Oh, oh, sure. Sure you are. Sure you are. How many kids do you actually have? Shouldn't you be, like, at home? Join the club. Yeah. Thank you, you brave, courageous people for saying uh, you need to take on the woke mind virus, which by your own admission here is like, we got to stop trans people. Yeah. Yeah. We really ought to stop transitioning people medically. I do think that would be a good idea. Okay. All right. Thanks. I'm glad we agree. Oh, wait, he can't hear me. I mean, I would love, love, love. Hey, uh, Elon Musk's kid. I'm sorry. I don't know your new name. Did you see that? He's been acting this whole time as if he knew anything about this at all. He doesn't even know this person's name. Xander's new name is Vivian Jenna Wilson. I found this with one simple Google search. Kyle, you literally could have done it live on camera. It took me that amount of time. Right, but uh, I'd love to have an interview with you. Yeah, I'm sure you would. And this is how you're going to reach out to that person? I'd love to talk to you. I'd love to get your side of the story. Because... Uh, Elon here is sounding as unhinged as ever. Yes, Elon's interpretation of things is absolutely self-serving and arrogant, but he's not imagining things. Saying the woke mind virus took you, or your kid just happened to be trans. Or that, right? Once more, I move to ask Kyle, why in the fuck is that the simplest explanation? I'd love to hear from you. So if anybody has a connection, one way or the other, uh, to Elon Musk's kid... Really? You're trying to crowdsource this interview? What the hell is this? I'd love to get their, their story and learn from their perspective. You mean her story and learn from her perspective? You're misgendering Vivian, Kyle. Because again, I want to reiterate, there's not a hint of, oh, I made a mistake. I want to detransition. It was social pressure that put me here. There's not a hint of that. No, you're right. There isn't because you didn't look into it at all. This is just somebody who's trans. That's all it is. You have no way of saying that. You do not even know this person's fucking name. And he cannot accept that. That says a lot. The fact that Elon Musk cannot accept the consequences of his own parenting does say a lot about him. <laughs> but, um, uh, you're at least as prejudiced in this situation, Kyle. You are at least as bigoted as Elon fucking Musk in the situation against him. So, so, so you sort of glossed over the real issue here. Which is, yeah, he's using the whole trans thing as a scapegoat for his own failures as a parent. Um, so way to bury the lead there, journalist. I just, I saw this and I had to comment. I'm just stealing a little bit of extra time tonight while everybody else is watching a movie to come out here and cover this because this is wild shit. The right wing is being their usual nut job selves and the left wing are basically letting them off the hook because they cannot see past the trans issue. Thank you so much for joining me. I have no idea when I'm going to post this, but please come back Wednesday for a brand new video and then Wednesday at noon for the live stream and discussion. And um, if you made it this far, please do subscribe to the channel so that we can all work together to bring feminism back into the real world. Because as you can see, we desperately need it. All right, I'll see you next time. Okay, thanks. Bye.